We were invited to take a behind the scenes look at Corning's research and testing facilities in Corning, New York. Corning was eager to demonstrate what makes Gorilla Glass unique and how they test a product that is used in over 3 billion devices worldwide. I'm Gary, and this is You Break I Fix Learn. Polycarbonate is very tough, but it's also very soft. That's not hard coated, is it? So if this, no, it's okay. not. But um, so if this is in your pocket and it's coming in contact with keys and coins and other everyday items, what happens is just what you see here. It's very scratched. It's visu visually objectionable. Cosmetically, doesn't look very good. And it wouldn't take very long before you almost couldn't see your screen. Yeah, yeah. So the difference is you substitute Gorilla Glass in the same application for these everyday items, you can just scratch away if you want, and you won't see any visible damage. So that's the result of a flaw where we've weakened the glass in the presence of bending stress, which you provided. That right has strength to break this, huh? Okay. Did you go to the gym this week? Yeah, and, then, and I would kind of answer that in terms of the, uh, <laughs> I wish I could photograph the shape. Right, so you're in an <laughs> environment where yeah, drive this through my phone. If you have put a hundred pounds on the load on the scratch. Yeah. I'm sorry. 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 i am sorry i so this is a great thing, right? That we talked about with Sapphire. Mm -hmm. So good scratch yeah, it's beautiful feature. It's it's totally amazing, right? It's totally amazing. Yeah. But break. yeah, uh, brittleness still breaks. Yeah. Now you couldn't see any of those scratches. Mm -hmm. No, even even under the microscopes. You, you get damage. You get damage across the crystal planes. Like, so you below the surface? Or or yeah, below the surface. Absolutely. Yeah. We did yeah. the first tumble. Okay. The first tumble. Yeah. And then after after that tumbling, we do a ring on ring test. Right? Yeah, but you're wearing the same shirt. <laughs> 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 so you look at your shirt. You look at Sapphire. The, that's 161 pounds, and that was a millimeter thick, right? That's, And uh, the diamond indenter, which is here, is going to be pressed into the glass. So we're drawing the indenter now. And oh. with all those cracks, I'll lower the intensity, but you can see all the uh, sort of radial cracks. And so if you actually looked at the equipment, you can see that there's different notches, so you can do different looks. Yeah. Okay. And in this case, we're not really taking a failure, we're just trying to demonstrate the yeah. you know, the Right. Yeah. Wait a minute, so you're suggesting the phone is supposed to bend? <laughs> I personally cringe a little bit when I see these YouTube videos of, you know, a guy in a park yeah, on a bench and, you know, I'm going to drop one phone of this and one phone of that. Yeah. By introducing controlled damage that replicates the thing that happens in the field, and that's how we make better and better glasses, by understanding what's causing them to break in the first place. So the fun thing is to take these pieces out and look at them in cross-section, because that's where the answer is. There's so many fracture markings, you can learn a lot about what happened in terms of the nature of the damage and the stresses. So having said all that, what we're going to do is look at it in cross-section. This is the surface that was on the bottom. It's already been sandblasted, and then we applied pencil scrubs. So we know from these lines, these are called Walner lines, the fracture is running with tension on this surface and compression on this surface. A glass fails in tension, and it has a hard time with compression, which is why we do what we do for chemical strengthening. We put a layer of compression on there for that very reason. In order to get the fracture to occur, you have to overcome that compression. 